let's start. In this video, we're going to talk about the tech I use both at work, at home, and at the end of the video, I talk about some unexpected tech products that you might not include but are extremely important to me, so stay tuned for that. We're going to start with the work category, so what I bring to work, and we have to start with the laptop. So for my work laptop, I use a 2020 MacBook Pro, which was given to me by my company. We did get the choice between 13 inch and 15 inch. I didn't want the 15 inch because that wouldn't fit in any of the bags I own. And the 13 inch works fine because at work I have monitors or I have like extendable screens and at home I have a monitor as well. This is still using Intel so not M1 yet. And the memory is just 16 GB and it's pretty slow I must say, especially with all the processes that I run on this laptop. I've been using this for two years and I think it's gonna reach end of life because in my company after two to three years of use they usually give you a new laptop i wish the color was nicer i'm not a big fan of space gray anymore i think i used to be but i'm not anymore with the laptop comes this moth sleeve which is new if you saw my previous video you would see it i've been using this for like two weeks now and i really like it i've been carrying my work laptop around i need another pair of sleeves for my personal laptop which we will get to in a bit. Next, for my work phone, I have an iPhone 11. I got my work laptop and my work phone at the same time. The main purpose of this is for when I'm on call so that I'm readily available all the time. And those weeks, you will see me carrying two phones every single place because you never know when that alert rings and you need to get to your laptop and fix some bug or fix some fire or an incident. Next are basic chargers that I obviously need for these devices to work. I do carry them to work every single day as well. The next item saved my life so many times is the portable charger. I've been using this for two years as well. This was also given to me by my company. It was part of like some gift for employees kind of thing. And I just realized that almost half of these products I use for work were given by my company and I didn't pay for them myself except for nothing but i guess that's how it should be right or maybe that's an entitled way of thinking about it the next item i have a love-hate relationship with which are my headphones i got these from amazon and what i love about them is that they were really cheap they were like 50 euro or something and i saw a lot of like headphones online that were like top 10 list and they all cost like 100 200 euros and i really didn't want to spend money on them because i didn't know if i was into headphones because i've always been like a earbuds kind of Go. I used to have these, which were amazing, but the bad things about these, which are Plantronics, I will link them down below, is that they only have a 6 hour life. These on the other hand was 20 hours, to get 20 hours of battery life for 50 euros. I thought it was a good bargain, so I got it, I've been using it for around a year, I think. Now, what I hate about it is that it's in year, and it hurts my ear, but I feel like I've used it for so long that I've become numb to it that I'm just okay with it so far and with the pain so that's why I don't hate it as much but if I use it for like two hours straight my ears hurt and I don't think that's a good thing so I don't know if I can recommend this in fact I would want more recommendations for other headphones to get the next piece of tech for work is my keyboard and mouse this keyboard I've had it for five plus years I'm a very loyal person to my tech and as part of a keyboard and mouse package is the K345 series. I will recommend this one. It's not a oh, it's not entirely a mechanical keyboard, but hear it. It's noisy and the keycaps are not fully flat. They are still indented. Not as indented as a mechanical keyboard, but I would say this kind of falls in the middle of a non-mechanical keyboard, I don't know what it's called, and then a mechanical keyboard. What I like about this a lot is the number pads here. I didn't realize how necessary number pads were or how much I like them until I got this keyboard and I was like, how did I ever live without number pads? I love it. It's big, so if your desk is small, it will take up quite a bit of space, but I think it's okay. There's also these things at the end. And along with it is this mouse. Now this mouse is not part of the series. The mouse part of the series, I still have it somewhere in my tech drawer. But I like this a lot better because of its grip and the fact that you can customize the buttons and how they behave. It's extremely comfortable. And again, after using this mouse, I had no idea how I used any other mouse before. 100% recommend this mouse. And I carry all this stuff in this bag by Gaston Luga, who very kindly sponsored this video. I've been using this bag for the past two weeks just to try it out and see how it feels. 
and I only have positive things to say. I got their Heritage 13 inch backpack which has an inner pocket that holds 11 to 13 inch laptops and apparently it's also water resistant I haven't tried that out myself but I will trust their claims. This is a brand by Stockholm Sweden and I was instantly attracted to like just how pretty it looks. I'm not into those big bulky backpacks with like thick straps I'm really like thin strap bags. What's amazing about Guest and Luga is that they not only have minimalistic small strap bags like this one that fit my style, but they also have other styles out there that may fit yours. So check them out. I will leave their link in the description below and hopefully you like it as much as I do. Next, we look at the tech I use at home and this part includes some suspectable things. This is a new laptop that I just got this year. I got it in Singapore and it's the 2022 Apple M2 MacBook Air. The thing I love about this is the battery life. The next piece of tech is my iPad. This is the ninth generation iPad. I don't know if this is a necessity in my life, like what I listed before on my laptop, portable charger, all the work stuff. Those are necessities, like I need them to do everyday things. This not so much, although it is with me almost 24 seven, you can argue otherwise. Next is my personal phone. I can't believe my iPad came before my phone, but this is an extremely old iPhone. It's the iPhone 8 plus and I love it. I have another iPhone actually that's a hand-me-down from my father, which is iPhone 11 or 12, I don't remember, but I can technically start using that. But I love this so much. I really love the button here and the new phones without the buttons. I don't know, I feel like the feel of it is gone, the aesthetic is gone. I love the ratio, the thinness, the color. I don't know, everything about this phone is amazing. I really don't want to change it. If I could, I would buy this exact phone again, but it's very hard to find them now, so I might just have to move up. Next, my SSD. This is the Samsung T7 version with one terabyte. This is the first ever SSD I own. Usually I don't use external storage. I didn't understand the concept of that. I was more into cloud storage a few years ago because I just thought I didn't need to carry stuff around. But this is so much more cost efficient. I spent 30 euro and it's worth it. So far, I've only used 300 GB, so I still have like a good 700 left. I think it's a very worth it decision if you guys are considering cloud or external SSDs, I recommend external SSD. And then comes my camera. This is the Panasonic Lumix G7. I've been using this for two years. Probably one of the most expensive things I bought for myself at that point. It costs about 700 Singapore dollars or like around there. The only con that this has is that when it comes to adjusting, it can be quite problematic like you see in some of my other videos. It does have a problem if I'm speaking to it. It's not able to adjust sometimes to my face. Maybe it's me because I move around a lot. So that's why nowadays I use my iPhone to record videos where I'm speaking just because then I don't have that issue of like movement and maybe when I become rich enough I will get another camera that's able to combat this issue. So now I just use this for like b-rolls and stuff like that. We have the product that's probably the most necessary and you would not expect it. So wait, my electric toothbrush. Now, it, this is a tech, isn't it? So it technically, technically, it technically should be part of this video because if you talk about techs that I use every single day, yes, there's TV and all those stuff, ignoring all those things. This is a piece of tech that I bought that I feel, I wouldn't say changed my life entirely, but made a significant difference to my life. This is by Oral-B, it's the brown version. They basically beep every 30 seconds until two minutes and basically you can use it for each corner of your mouth for 30 seconds each because if not for this i would not want to type my teeth brushing because that's inconvenient and this just adds that level of convenience to your life anyway that's about it for the tech products that i use i hope you found this video interesting useful learn something from it maybe you want to get an electric toothbrush and of course want to look into the links for gaston luga I might be pronouncing it wrong. I really like the bag. I would not recommend it if I didn't. So check that out and I will see you in the next one.